Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So ngayon, I have a new video. It I'm gonna tackle about how to avoid being offloaded in your channel. So if ever you experience that kind of scenario, so this video is for you. So I'm gonna give you tips para hindi ka ma offload sa flight niya. So let's start. So what are the tips to avoid being offloaded in your flight? So I'm gonna give you tips right now. So first one is you need to be early. Early in a way na dapat uh, you should be at the airport 3 hours prior to your departure time if you're going uh, uh, if you're going to take an international flight. And 2 hours prior to your departure time if ever domestic naman yung flight nyo. So yes, be early para early kayo maka-check in sa counter and if ever you're going to take the international flight, be early sa check-in count uh, sa check-in counter and also para uh, maaga kayong makalusot sa immigration kasi there are times na mahaba yung pila ng immigration. So you should be early going to the airport, uh, going to the check-in counter and also sa immigration. And then the second one is check all your documents like passport, visas, ticket, um, your certificates. If you have, so you need to check all your all of your documents para hindi na kayo magka problema upon checking in at the counter because all of the things that you have included your ticket, your passport, your visa, and your certificate. So, the passenger service agent will gonna ask you for that. And not only for the PSA, but also um, immigration will gonna ask all of your travel documents. Because travel documents are very important, especially especially, <laughs> especially if, you, if ever you're traveling to abroad or to, um, to international countries. So, it's very important that you have those kind of travel documents so yes and then the next one is check your ticket yes check your ticket if you have a baggage allowance because there are tendencies that um you're expecting that you have a baggage allowance but in but then you don't have any upon checking it checking in at the counter and so if ever that kind of scenario uh you're gonna bump into it so it will cost you a lot yes because over the counter you will gonna pay 200 200 or more per kilogram so it will gonna cost you a lot of money so to avoid that kind of thing always make sure in your ticket that you that you have a baggage allowance or you purchased another prepaid baggage so para safe yung bagahe nyo or yung malata nyo or yung yung weight ng baggage nyo so and then um also check if ever you have a return ticket kasi passenger service agent will gonna ask you for that if ever you're traveling to other destination or international destination, a passenger service agent will gonna ask you for a return ticket. Kasi importante yung return ticket. Um, the reason why passenger service agent ask you for for a return ticket is because para malaman namin na babalik talaga kayo ng Pilipinas. Hindi kayo magsistay longer sa ibang bansa. It's it's all it's also for your own safety and also for your, for the security. So yes, and then also immigration will gonna ask you for that also for your return ticket. If ever tourist ka lang sa ibang bansa. So yon. And then also make sure uh, you don't have anything that is pro prohibited like for example um those flammable items batteries the power banks and also the lighter if ever you have lighter inside of your baggage please surrender it sa counter or sa p or sa passenger service agent para hindi magka problema yung baggage nyo uh, sa baba and also kasi if ever you have that kind of thing sa bag nyo it's kind of problema sa amin at also problema din sa inyo kasi it's hard to retrieve your baggage uh, sa baba and also not only your baggage uh, 
not only your baggage na ini iniintindi namin. Uh, there are a lot of passengers kasi. So yes, if ever you have that kind of um, item inside of your baggage, those prohibited items, please render it sa counter para hindi kayo magka-problema upon boarding and also uh, yung baggage nyo. Para hindi din, uh, para hassle-free din sa inyo. And also for us, hassle-free. So yon. Just make sure you don't have any prohibited items inside of your baggage and also for your hand carry. And if ever you have um more than 100 ml of liquids, just put it inside of your of your um uh, check-in baggage para hindi din kayo uh ma intercept sa final X-ray. So yon and then and then if ever the passenger will gonna say to you na you should proceed to the immigration directly. Please proceed to immigration kasi passenger service agent know that there's a long queue sa immigration or if ever there's a possibility na mag, uh, na tataas yung linya ng immigration and if ever um uh, magka problema man sa documents nyo, babalik kayo sa counter early pa and also hindi kayo ma-offload kasi tutulungan naman kayo ng airline eh and also the a passenger service agent or any passenger service agent like supervisor or team leader tutulungan kanila uh for your for your travel item uh, for your travel documents para makalipad ka. and lastly be early sa gate huwag maggagalagala sa pre departure area it's okay for you to room around sa airport basta as long as nakapasok na kayo sa immigration kasi immigration is mahirap lusutan kasi yung immigration because immigration will gonna ask you lots of questions about your travel or about your documents so if ever the passenger service agent gonna tell you that you should be uh, you should go to the go directly sa immigration. So, dapat you should listen sa passenger service agent. So, so be early at the boarding gate. It's okay na mag uh, room around sa boarding gate. There are a lot of things naman na magagawa nyo sa boarding gate. Like kumain and then taking pictures. Yes. Yeah, so, it's okay na mag room around kayo doon. Basta sa boarding gate lang. Huwag naman din sa pre-departure area. Because there are tendency na hindi mo malalaman na early boarding pala kayo. Or delayed yung flight nyo. So, it's better to be at the boarding gate na lang. Para safe kayo. Para at least uh, naririnig mo yung mga announcement about your flight. So, yes. Be early at the boarding gate. Para early din ka. Para early din kayo na makaboard sa aircraft. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, nagustuhan nyo tong video na to and hopefully, uh, nakatulong yung tips ko sa inyo para to avoid being offloaded sa flight niya. So if ever you have anything to ask uh, with regards to your flight or with regards to passenger service agent, please uh, comment down below and hindi pa ako mag to answer all of your questions. So, Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video or to this channel. So para and also the bell notification for you to notified if I if ever I have videos like this. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.